This is a history, in fact, the autobiography of one of the oldest wells of this land. And that's me. I was constructed many, many years ago in Naitala in Elapulli, a village in Palakkad district known as the Rice Bowl of Kerala. It may be around one and a half centuries ago that a compassionate person came forward when the whole of this drought-torn area was craving for every single drop of water. He was the one who was responsible for my birth. Krishna Sami Zetia in the Bayre in the Mutta Sende Mutta Sende Kanara. Adu Veda Poduaita Vidanada. The site turned out to be the sumptuous source of pure drinking water, catering to the entire population of this parched land. People of those days knew the value of water very well. Gone are the days when people knew the real value of pure drinking water. And then the new age saw the influx of tube wells. Also, the piped connections reached most of the households. Amidst all these, I was forgotten by the new generation. Slowly, they found me as a convenient dump ground for their daily waste. Over the years, they filled my insides with garbage and clogged all my fountain heads. Weeds and wild growth mushroomed up all around me. I wept haplessly beside my fountain heads clogged by the garbage. By this time, an array of tube wells sprang up everywhere, dragging the already drought-prone Palakkad region into a severe drought. These tube wells penetrated into the depths of the soil and siphoned out even the last drop of water. Driven by thirst, people craved in vain for every single drop of pure drinking water. Realizing the agony of the people, three voluntary organizations, namely PepsiCo Foundation, WaterAid and PSSP came forward to mitigate the sufferings of the people of this region. These organizations realized that real water conservation is to facilitate maximum water to fill up the bowels of the earth. It was this realization that led to my resurrection. All my surroundings were cleansed. All the garbage dumped into my bowels was removed. My clogged fountain heads opened again and I was filled up with gushing waters. In fact, they were my tears, tears of joy. Now WaterAid, in association with PepsiCo Foundation and People's Service Society Palakkad, is supplying the brimming water in my bowels to as many as 32 households in the area. The water is pumped into that storage tank which you can see and then routed to each household through a dedicated pipeline. <laughs> The children of this school are celebrating the success of this project. The rainwater that fell on the rooftop of the school is now being converted into drinking water after the purification process developed under the project. The rooftop is in the rooftop. It is in the rooftop. It is in the rooftop. These housewives are also happy. The purified rainwater is also getting stored in their wells. One could now see many of the wells in Elapulli Putaseri villages brimming with water. Many unused wells in the area are now being converted into storages of pure drinking water. Pragadil in the Jelum in the Pradana Pata Vipovum, Janangalka, Etum, Saugiri Pradamai, Ridilum, Etum Nalla Jelum, Alulka Kituna, or a project at the Ne Valarthanata, Namakasadi Chirunda. This is a great message. Intensive efforts are being made to bring together the industrial houses and trade centers. Big and small houses in Palakkad join the mission of collecting the rainwater falling on their rooftops purify the same and route it into the bowels of once dried up wells and ponds like me. Yes, all is set to spread a green blanket over the entire district. Each well has a noble duty or dharma just like that of a mother. PepsiCo Foundation, 
Water Aid and People's Service Society of Palakkad are by our side in helping us fulfill that dharma by dispensing our sumptuous storage of pure water to one and all.